Hey guys, welcome to another video. Dr. Mike Hansen here. And as I gave a little brief update with my COVID status, how I did get COVID, I did say that I was gonna give a more detailed video and here it is. So early June, end of May, somewhere in that time frame, uh, I went to an Eagles concert and hindsight is 2020, two days after the concert, maybe three days, somewhere in that range, I started getting symptoms consistent with COVID, consisted of feeling very run down. I also had uh, fevers and I started getting a runny nose, nasal congestion, my voice was changing and I was developing a sore throat and I did eventually end up develop a cough where I was coughing up phlegm. And so the worst part from the time that I started having symptoms, the worst part was the first three to four days. Even though my sore throat, it didn't really bother me when I would drink liquids or swallow food or if I didn't swallow. In any of those times, the throat wasn't bad. For whatever reason, whenever, like if I had saliva in the back of my throat and I'd go to swallow, that was extremely painful. And that's not something that I really expected with COVID. Now this is presumably the BA4 or the BA5 variant. The BA5 is now the dominant strain, which is a sub-variant of the Omicron variant. The Omicron variant was very contagious, but relatively mild in severity of infection. And so far it appears that this new BA5, BA4 seems to be the same way. I was not expecting to have a sore throat the way that I did because that's pretty uncommon with COVID, at least for it to be severe. But I am noticing as I speak to other people that it is becoming a more common thing, whether that's because of BA4 or BA5 or for whatever reason. So the runny nose, the nasal congestion, the fevers that lasted about three to four days as did the sore throat on day four day five that started to get much better it took me about two weeks for the cough to go away i mean i was still coughing up stuff for my lungs for about a two week time span so i would say i was back to normal with the exception of a little bit of fatigue i was back to normal after two weeks of symptoms from that point on about two weeks after that well, guess what? I developed food poisoning, presumably from the norovirus. That's the most common cause of food poisoning. First day was the worst. The second day was a little better. Third day, still not quite back to normal. Fourth day, stomach was still feeling a little eh. And then on day five, when I was completely back to normal from the food poisoning. For pretty much the entire month of June, I was not feeling well. And I wasn't making many videos. But now I'm really back to full strength. I've been working out. I've done nine workout sessions since I've recovered from that food poisoning and I'm feeling much better back to myself. So what did I get the food poisoning from? It's not really clear. Could it have been the salad that I had or the chicken? You know, norovirus, which is the most common cause of food poisoning, is can also be associated with oysters also with oysters if it's not caused by norovirus which is the same virus that causes outbreaks on cruise ships the most common cause after that is a bacteria called vibrio and there's actually two species of vibrio that is associated with food poisoning the vibrio bacteria it loves salt water particularly warm salt water so oysters that come from warm salt water that's where it happens so if you don't want to get food poisoning from oysters, it's recommended that you cook them and not eat them raw. But hey, I like raw oysters too, so it is what it is. But again, who knows what I had? Was it norovirus? Was it bacteria, vibrio? I don't know. All I know was for the first day, it was not fun whatsoever. It would come in waves, the vomiting that is, and then throughout the day, it was just a ton of diarrhea. And I slept like 18 out of the 24 hours in the day just extremely tired so that was my first day of food poisoning and then every day after that got a little better and better but back to covid with this ba4 and now ba5 being the most dominant strain which is a sub variant of omicron there's a problem trying to understand this virus more so now than before and that is more and more cases are being underreported because like myself i took a home test and then i stayed at home never got reported and I'm not the only one that's happening throughout the world, throughout the country. This is way more common now than it was before in the pandemic. Now, maybe you're asking, well, are you vaccinated? Yes, I got the booster as well. My third shot was in October of 2021, and I came down with this infection at least eight to nine months since my previous shot. And it's known that with the Omicron and the BA4, the BA5, 
that these viruses, these subvariants, are escaping not only the antibodies from previous vaccination, but also from previous infections, including COVID infections of the Omicron variant. So yes, BA4, BA5, they're escaping the body's immune system from previous antibodies of the vaccine and from previous COVID infections, including Omicron. Overall, so far, it doesn't seem like the BA5 variant causes more severe disease. I'm sure I had some level of protection from previous vaccination in the booster, but it's hard to know exactly how much. The good thing is that I did not have any shortness of breath. I didn't require any medications such as Paxlovid or prednisone or steroids. And I didn't require going to the hospital. I didn't have to go to the ER. Overall, my COVID illness was considered mild, but even though I had mild illness, it was not fun whatsoever. I was definitely out for a good two weeks. And by far the worst part of it was the sore throat. Whenever I would go to swallow, it was the sore throat that was incredibly painful. I did try those sprays that you buy over the counter, the phenol spray where it numbs up the back of the throat, but those only last for a minute or so before the pain comes back. Even though I was spraying the back of my throat constantly, it was only temporary relief. It wasn't enough to get rid of that sore throat. But COVID, it's still a thing, unfortunately. There's 5,000 people every day getting admitted to the hospital with COVID and 300 people dying every day of COVID. So I'm grateful that that wasn't the case with me. And I'm grateful that I'm back to normal, back to feeling my normal self and getting my stamina up, my endurance, my strength, and taking it one day at a time.